For any parent, it's a day you hope never happens, the day you bury your child. Today, a mid-state family had to do just that. All because the unthinkable happened. 11-year-old Sienna Owens was gunned down by a classmate. New at 6 News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen is live at North Middle School and spoke exclusively with her parents. Jesse, a lot of emotion out there today. Certainly a lot of emotion, Carrie and Rory. You know, Sienna Owens was shot last Friday by her 12-year-old classmate. And tonight, her family gathered to remember the one that they loved. And I was able to speak to her parents, who described the moments that they heard what happened and rushed to the hospital. And I knew it was something bad. Um, so when I went in there, I just shook her and shook her and tried to wake her up. And she was in a puddle of blood. I could see her little hazel eyes and her lids were covering and I knew it was real then. Sienna was just 11 years old. On Friday, when she was at her friend's house, in the garage, a 20-gauge shotgun was fired and hit Sienna. She did not survive. In the days since, the Franklin County Sheriff's Department has been investigating exactly what happened, but at this time, many questions remain. Sienna's family says the support of the community through this hard time has meant everything to them. We've really been able to be supported by the people that are here, um, especially the little children. So many little children that have known Sienna have reached out to us. Um, people, there was a candlelight vigil in Ireland um, from people that had heard. It just, how far reaching she's been, it's, it's given strength where there, there wouldn't be a source of, of strength anywhere. Now moving forward, the investigation will be handed over to the district attorney's office who will decide whether this was an accident or a crime. And as for Sienna's parents, they just want to make sure that they have closure. Live in Franklin County, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.